Hello, Marvelites. You're watching Marvel's Pull List, and I'm Ryan, aka Agent M. And I'm Tucker Marcus. And every week we read every single Marvel comic that comes out. We pick a couple of them. We pick a topic. We tell you why you got to check them out. Tucker, what are we talking about this week? This week, it's all about mutant mayhem. We have picked four books that focus on uh, the world of the X-Men in various ways uh, with some really great, really dramatic stuff happening. We're starting with one that I know we're super pumped about. This is Giant Size X-Men, Jean Grey and Emma Frost, number one. This is an all-star book in more ways than one because not only do we have Jean and Emma uh, at the front and center of this story, we also have it told by Jonathan Hickman, Russell Dodderman, and Matt Wilson. What a team. It's really cool because uh, as with each of these giant size X-Men stories, Jonathan Hickman has handpicked some artists and invited them to craft the story alongside the mutant mastermind Hickman himself. And so Russell Dodderman gets to do backflips here. There's amazing these psychic sequences. There's virtually no dialogue in here, which is really, really, really cool and super special. Uh, I will say, get your Krakoan dictionaries out. Uh, because there's some really cool uh, use of Krakoan text in here. So much fun across the board. It is just excellent stuff. All right, you want more Jonathan Hickman X-Men goodness? How about X-Men number seven? He and Laniel Francis Yu, whoo, they bring it in this issue. It answers some questions that I think a lot of mutant fans have had, figuring out what's going on on Krakoa with mutants. Also brings up a bunch of questions. Uh, by the end of the issue, you're gonna, there's a moment with Nightcrawler, you're gonna be like, wait, Rewind, what's happening, what's going on? The cover, you see that Apocalypse has a sword. Does he use the sword? Yes, he uses the sword! It's very important, <laughs> it's really cool. There's a whole bunch of things going on here. I don't wanna spoil a dang thing in here. Just think about The Crucible. Mm, uh, such good stuff there, and also such good stuff in X-Force number eight. One of the great surprises across the Dawn of X for me has been how central a role Domino is playing in this series. She's been through a lot in these seven or eight issues so far, and that definitely continues here. She teams up with Colossus for a bit, which leads to some amazing sequences, some of my favorite stuff of this series as of yet. It is so, so special, so excellent. Domino is a really special character, I think, across the board. So to see her captured so beautifully, her spirit, her tone, her way of doing things that is unique to her, it is just the best. You ever think what it would feel like for Colossus to punch you in the face? Uh -huh. Just stop and think. Not good. No. It's not good. Yeah. What no. is good, mm -mm. X-Men and Fantastic Four, issue number two. Oh man, Chip Zdarsky, Terry, Rachel Dodson, Laura Martin, they come in and they are telling a hell of a story here because it's rooted at the heart of family. And it is the Fantastic Four, Marvel's first family, and the X-Men, the mutant family. And at the center of it all is Franklin Richards. He's got the choice to make. Does he go to Krakoa with the rest of mutant kind because he is one of the most powerful mutants on Earth or does he stay with his blood family, the, the people who raised him, who you know, are what you think of as family? There's a lot for him to decide. Unfortunately, he's not with either of them right now. He's on another island. He's running and he's trying to deal with a whole bunch of problems. I will not tell you who he's up against, but if you know the Fantastic Four, you might have a sense of what's going on here. It's wild, it's fun, but it also brings up a lot of really cool questions uh, about the whole mutant like situation right now. It's really great. Uh, but there are many more comics for us to tell you about, which we will on the podcast version of Marvel's Pull List. Get it wherever you get your audio, and we'll be back with another video episode next week. I'm Ryan. And I'm Tucker. And this is Marvel. Your universe. I can think about it. Colossus punching you in the face. I don't want to think about it. I can't like, think about it. I can't really think about it. Really cold no, metal. It's too much. It, and it then hurts. Bang. painful. No. Oh.